students from Nichols College made the trek to Washington, D.C. and were in the Capitol for the president's inauguration. The students say it was a historic day and the experience is one they won't soon forget. Our Rosin Flaherty caught up with the students today and has more. I didn't really know what to expect going into it. Dozens of students from Nichols College are back after spending two weeks in Washington, D.C. The final part of their trip was attending the inauguration of President Donald Trump. I would say I got more out of those two weeks than I did out of inauguration day itself. Senior Alexandra Voitilla says she was expecting to be overwhelmed with emotion at the inauguration. I was expecting to feel patriotic, to feel happy, to feel celebration. Um, and I didn't. Junior Timothy Bourne says he had no expectations going into the trip, but was also disappointed with Inauguration Day. He left hours before President Trump took the oath of office. I heard some things that I didn't agree with at all, and um, my fundamental ideology of how I view our country and our world was just being completely ripped apart, basically. But senior Michael Cotrere says witnessing the transition of power was very powerful. That was kind of when it set in that. You know, it was his country now. Petraeus says whether or not he supported President Trump didn't matter to him on that day. Outside the gates where there's people like literally face up against it, like rusted, probably 100-year-old gates up against, the, pressing against each other, trying to see, uh, see the president, was, it was just amazing to see. During their trip, the students had a jam-packed itinerary with a mix of academic programming and site visits. I knew there was going to be a little bit of work involved, but it turned out to be an absolutely fantastic educational experience. And despite their differing opinions on the inauguration, the students can agree what they learned over the two weeks was life-changing. I feel much more of like a well-rounded citizen now that I am well-informed on what's going on in our world and what the issues are. That was our Rosalind Flaherty report.